Hi there, welcome to another mod video. After doing the mod on Big Blue and on the X-Men vs. Street Fighter cabs, the inputs and everything became a lot more reliable, but the IL buttons just haven't sat super well with me. They're a little bit stiff. Uh, so to kind of illustrate what's going on here, uh, this is a, a stock um, arcade one up button. So this is what was replaced. And what I replaced it with is this IL style button. So I kind of talk about that in the mod videos where you put these switches in the base of the button and they're very stiff. Like I'm pressing pretty hard here in, you know, my collecting various parts for arcade cabinets over the years and, you know, replacing certain parts and this and that and taking apart old fight sticks. I've accumulated a lot of buttons. So I thought it would be fun to swap out player one in big blue with all four types of buttons that you can have to figure out for myself which type of button I like the best. Um, so here we have Baolian, uh, but this is supposed to be a Sanwa style button um, for, for uh, thicker decks. Uh, I actually have a set of these in my main cabinet and they're super nice, much better than the arcade one up buttons. And honestly, I think I like them a little better than the ILs. So at the very least, we'll probably end up at these, uh, but I wanna give them a shot first. And the ones I would really like to get working uh, are these ones I took out of the Victrix. So if you watched my uh, mod video um, for the, the two Victrix sticks to put the chrome buttons in, it gave me a bunch of these super nice black Sanwa buttons. So the first thing I wanna do is try these, see if they actually sit okay uh, in the deck, um, since they're made for very thin, thin decks, uh, and see how that, that pans out. And if they do sit well, uh, you know, give them a shot and see if these are, these are the winners. Uh, otherwise my plan is to swap player one for these, uh, these, you know, Sanwa style buttons that I showed beforehand. But either way, I think we're gonna, unless these are awful, we're gonna end up at one of these two. And you guys saw in my last video that for those switches, they, you know, they have these very wide prongs. And if you look at Sanwa style uh, connectors, they just won't fit. You see? The connector is way too small for the prong. So I bought a bunch of cables that, that were able to connect to those bigger switches. Um, but I saved my arcade one up cables cause you know, cables, cables are always good, whether or not they're, you know, arcade one up or third party or Santa, it's just a wire. So I saved all those cables and I'm actually really happy I did, uh, because these connectors fit the Santa buttons and fit those, uh, bio, uh, bio on ones. I forget what the other ones are called, but this fits both of those. So I'm actually going to use these arcade one up wires that I saved instead of buying new ones to uh, put those buttons uh, inside of Big Blue. Um, so we're gonna do a lot of modding, hopefully come to some pretty good conclusions about uh, which buttons feel the best. Uh, and then we'll swap out the buttons in the Big Blue deck and then follow it up with uh, swapping buttons probably in the X-Men versus Street Fighter deck, unless uh, I end up being surprised and liking these IL style buttons the best.
All right, so you guys saw there that in terms of like executing uh, charge motions, I feel like I was a little bit more consistent with the softer button, um, like the, the standard switch instead of the IL style switch. The travel on the buttons is about the same, but because of the harder spring in this one and the harder switch, it just felt like it was a lot harder to, to, to time the press of it. And then for DPs, uh, you, you saw that the DPs were pretty consistent. So charge motions, I'd give a slight edge to this button. Uh, DPs, they were about equal. I didn't notice too much of a difference. Um, where the biggest difference became apparent to me between the, the heavier switch and these, these lighter, softer switch buttons was actually with mashing. Um, so you saw at the end there with Honda, I was trying to piano. And when I tried to piano, on the harder switch button, uh, it just wouldn't work. So you would just see me throwing out a lot of jabs and mediums. But when I was pianoing on this button, you know, his hands came out very easily. The other thing too was when I would mash from fierce to medium, uh, this and this were about the same. But when I would mash from medium to light, uh, this one again wouldn't come out or would come out on, on a significant delay relative to this one. Uh, so for mashing, this was better. For charge, I'd say this had a slight edge just because the button itself is easier to press. Uh, and then for quarter circle motions and, and DPs, uh, I think it was a wash between the two. So I think I'm actually gonna leave these in player one, uh, these ones. And then for player two, I'll probably leave the heavier switches uh, because really there wasn't that much of a discernible difference. I think just for playing online, I'd prefer these ones. Uh, I did try getting the Sanwa's in uh, and eyeballing them, they looked about the same width, but once you got like halfway in with the Sanwa, it just got stuck. Um, so I'm gonna have to make the panel a little bit bigger to test the Sanwa buttons. Uh, and I think I'll probably do that with the X-Men versus Street Fighter panel, because I don't play that as much. So if I mess it up, you know, oh well. Uh, but with the Big Blue, that's the one I play the most, so I don't wanna mess that panel up. So. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and uh, just to make these kind of match, I've got the white, black, white. So I'm probably gonna go white, red, uh, white on, on player two side, just to give it a little bit of consistency. And then we'll wrap up this experimentation session. All right, so here's the, how the panel turned out. Here we have the softer, quieter buttons, uh, uh, you know, white, black, white. And then here we've got the louder, clickier, heavier press buttons, white, red, white. Both huge upgrades over the Arcade 1UP stock ones. So quick recap, uh, these are the Arcade 1UP stock buttons uh, and both sets of buttons are a huge upgrade over these. Like these, these buttons are pretty awful. Plastic feels very cheap. The travel range or travel distance on the button feels pretty long. Both of these are big upgrades over it though. This switch is actually the same brand as in the Arcade 1UP. So if you like the switch, uh, this is just a nicer button encasing that same switch. It's uh, quieter, and as you guys saw, I could mash faster with it, so it was, you know, just registering and puts a little bit faster, mostly because the switch is a lot easier to, to depress. And then this one is the uh, button that you put the big stiff switch in, and this one has a stiffer spring in it as well. So, um, I actually do like the feel of the spring without the switch in it, but this stiffer spring with that switch just makes it really hard to press compared to this. But both, again, still great, uh, you know, depends on personal preference.